Howdy folks and welcome to the garage. <laughs> yeah, we're in the garage always. So, you know. And we're over at the woodworking bench this morning. Now, we've got quite a bit going on today, so we're going to have a uh, tool review. Uh, we're also going to be doing a draw. Everybody, most anybody tuning in that's ever seen the channel goes, oh yeah, he's, you know, they're giving something away today. And it's exciting because there's at least three winners today. That's going to be kind of cool. The other thing I'm doing is we'll also be giving something out, uh, starting a new one. Now I'm changing the rules a little bit. You have to be a subscriber or we're not going to put you in the draws anymore. Sorry, but we got to call a line here somewhere. We need to like, share, and subscribe these videos or we can't keep doing this sort of giveaway thing all the time. But got a tool in uh, this past, oh, last week. It's so new. I'm going to have to double check on it, see if it's available in the uh, stores at like Amazon or anything just yet because I'm not even sure uh, the availability on this one because when I checked the website last, they, uh, they, weren't even, uh, they weren't even available. It's a new thing, but it's come in from a company that I've had stuff come in from before and some of the stuff, uh, Greg up there in Oregon, I believe it was, uh, can tell you he got the uh, drill that is charged off a USB and he said, uh, you know, 50% torque setting or more, and you have to have both hands on it. It's that powerful. And it was really an innovative tool. It was very, very, very nice. In fact, from what I understand, uh, his wife took it away from him and said he can't play with it anymore. He, it's now hers. Yeah, anyway, this is that kind of tool maybe. The wife might take it away, but this one here comes from a different kind of angle. Again, it's from that same company of Hoto, and they do innovative kind of tools that are a little different. At the same time, they have a good marketplace for these things because, uh, let's face it, I do not want to go into my computer room and have to haul out my Craftsman, my Ryobi, my DeWalt drills and stuff to work in there. A lot of times, I have a separate toolkit for just the house. That same toolkit sometimes might go with me in the car if I have a long road trip to go. And it's just a handy small kit that will have the basic things that, you know, if anything more complicated than this toolkit has is needed, uh, we need to call a mechanic or tire company or whatever at the time, but it's just, it's something to get you by, you know. Or if you're visiting somebody and they ask you to do something, you can say, you know what, I've got a tool in the car that will do this, or truck. And it's also great for like the RV, uh, you can take that on the road with you and you have that little toolkit with you kind of thing camping, dry camping, any kind of anything like that. Also, if you're uh, you have a boat and you want to carry some tools down the boat each weekend, you might want to take, you know, a toolkit with you. Just a small one, something that you can use, you know, for for the job, especially if your boat is stored at a marina, something like that. So anyways, uh, the other big thing was in the house. I like to keep a separate set of tools in the house. And it's not just for the wife, it's for me too. It's so that I don't have to come out to my garage and dig through tools out here to find something when I've got something I can grab right in the house and go ahead and do the home repair inside. So it kind of goes that way. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know, I'll, don't really even know all what comes with this. It's, this thing is as heavy as a brick. So yeah, it's got a lot of tools. It's got some stuff in there. I understand it has a power uh, screwdriver system in there. It also has a tape measure, a hand, I think there's a hammer. Yep, and then a few other, it's some pliers. So it's a real basic, but it'll get you through. So it's a nice item. We're gonna take a look at it today. And then we're gonna get to these drawings and the next item. And we're changing the email box, so we're gonna make it easier for people to uh, hopefully get into the draws. But at the same time, like I said, I'd like you to be a subscriber. So we're saying subscriber, that's who can enter these draws. And uh, that includes Keith and Don up there in the Northeast. <laughs> Those two characters. <laughs> anyway, and a shout out to Henry again. Uh, just a lot of great people out there. And we've got we've to take a look at this thing. So that's what we're going to start with is let's get close up so we can open this box and just see what exactly comes in here and take a look at the features. Come on, get in here. <laughs> well, the first thing we're going to have to do is get the wrapping off. I was going to get a knife, but it looks like I can just rip this off. There's the name, Hotu. Yeah, and I guess we're going to tear into the side of it. Oh my, yep. All right, let's get this out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay, it's got some recycled something or other on it. You don't have to break that off. Wow, this is a nice, tough whew, plastic case. 
And again, like I said, this is a very different. This case, you probably can't see it that well here, but it is a really, <laughs> it's a really nice finish. It's a, it's a beautiful case. Okay. And it has the clips that you pull up like this. And we should be able to hinge it. And wow, there you go. Whew, yeah. This is a seriously a really nice tool kit. And let's take a look at the adjustable. It has, looks like, yeah, it'd be metric scale here on the adjustable uh, for, and it has a little arrow here and everything. Let's see if I can get you zoomed in a little bit on that one. And, uh, you know, uh, zoom, zoom. And a little arrow shows you, indicates the opening of the jaws in metric. Uh, sorry about that, USA, but uh, metric is a thing. So, yeah, it's still that in itself. That is uh, sort of a real fancy looking adjustable. And again, it just, you know, they got nice little clips in the case. These pliers look really good too. Let's get these pliers out for a second and have a look at them. Okay, so you got wire cutters right here in the jaws. You also have a hole here, which will help you when you're splicing wire, so you can actually splice the wire and you can also pull the, the uh, coating off. But you'd have to only be able to use that size of wire. And I'm looking at that hole size. It looks like around, I'm gonna say around number 14 wire. And it also has some crimping um, tools right here for doing the uh, you know the old crimp for wire connectors and then you have of course the pinching and the pliers the handles feel really really nice on these they have the really nice solid feel to the hand handles so that would be the nicest set of pliers i guess that i've got anywhere in any toolbox around here now uh let's take a look at the hammer so i mentioned camping so Say a, a big, big brown bear attacks you. See, you could, wow, look at this thing. Man, this is, uh, got a little paper here. This is fancy, too. And it's an interesting nailing hammer because you have a magnet here. So you could start your tack or your nail here and start it in first. And then once you've got it started, you can come up and do a finish with it. So it has a nice feature. Also, this is a really nice nail pulling type uh, shape they've got back here. The claws are not you know, super bent over to make it really difficult to get into something. And the handle feels really, really good. I think I just ran into the camera. Cool. And, okay, plus the magnet, I guess, would be handy for, you know, just picking some stuff up or something, I guess, if you were, you know, in a pinch. Let's grab a nail or a screw or something here, or just a nail. Yeah, let's throw a nail across that and just look at how that works. Uh, just so you can see that really clearly uh, i'm going to pull the pull this away for a second here's the top of the hammer and the nails well this is uh, i'm going to apologize the only thing i could find real quick here is like a three and a half inch nail but it goes into the slot like that and the magnet holds it in place and then you can start your nail and then come back with the hammer of course once the nail started and you know finish knocking the nail in don't try to if you're gonna nail this size, go get a big hammer, don't bother. But <laughs> that's a small tack nail or anything like that, where around the, again, around the house or something, where you need to, you know, you wanna hold it first to get it started. That is really, that is so slick. That, like I said, this is a, these guys sort of go in innovation. They go out of their way and try to innovate the tool a little bit so that it has a few more features than what the normal tool might have in this case. And it's not a real long hammer, so you're not going to get a lot of power with it. But again, if you're working around the house, for example, this is awesome. Just think about uh, also, you know, for gifties and stuff. Now, we've got a full set of uh, screwdrivers with a nice, again, this is, yeah, this is exactly like the one they sent me before uh, that I received last year that we uh, did a giveaway with and uh, a lot of people missed on that show. A couple of reasons, <clears throat> but um, it's got a USB plug here so you can charge up the, the drill on a USB. And then you have a small uh, socket that you can put in there for extension. Also, you know, it's gonna take all these different bits. Let's take a look at the bits and see what we got. Man, this whole case feels it's like a real high quality plastic. So it's really a nice set. You've got your star, uh, the uh, Torx type uh, size. You've got your, looks like, yep, all three sizes of your Phillips, one, two, and three sizes. You've got some basic hex head bits. 
then you have that really weird you know triangle type bit and you've got the uh, female and the male size or style and then you also have of course a little standard driver here so that this sort of covers all the real basics of everything around the house that you're going to run into it's not going to do everything obviously like a tear apart an apple computer because <clears throat> of all the specialty stuff you need but it will definitely get you by on a lot of jobs and this drill, I've used this drill before because I've had just the drill kit itself and it has this really nice positive feel to it and you hold it and just hit the button and it, you know, it drives. So it's a, this is just a really nice kit all the way around. And uh, if you were say giving somebody a gift that has everything, this would be something they don't have. Oh, and, oh, okay, let's take this, let's take a look at this. This ought to be good. See if we can get it out of here. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. It's got a really fancy tape measure with a, and again, it's innovative. It has the switch back here to allow the tape to come out. The tape is also in standard US, yay, and it's also in metric. And you have this, yep, it has a nice hook on it, and it's all set up so you can measure inside or you can pull to measure. Now, what length does this tape measure go to? Well, there's only one way to find out, right? So we'll just pull it all the way out. I'm assuming it's eight feet or something, but I really don't. Six, seven, eight, nine, we're still going. Oop, there's 10. Okay, so it's a 10 foot tape measure and it's got this funky little switch here that you can hit to you know, pull the tape back in kind of thing. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, ooh, boom. Wow, and again, ho to. They, go with innovation so their tools are not going to be like you know what you see at the big box store kind of thing now to get this back in is going to be a science project because i have no idea how that came out of there now but i'm thinking maybe it was like that nope okay here we go ah there it is yeah so keep everything together and always, like I said, carry this with you, and you've got all your basics uh, of, you know, a tool kit. And you have nice tools. These are not, you know, these are not cheap, junky stuff like uh, some tool kit out of Harbor Freight, <clears throat> for example. This is nice quality stuff, and you can feel it in your hands that the quality is there. Plus the innovation of the hammer, the electric uh, screwdriver that... Is this is very powerful? I have, like I said, I've had this before, and the screwdriver itself has a lot of power in it and a lot of torque. So you hang on to it real good when you hit your button to, you know, drive a screw in or out, and it can drive some serious screws if need be. But around the house, this is the sort of thing that would sort of get you out of the basics of, of, of issues. And you've got a nice kit, and you fold it back up and lock it, and then you have this nice carrying case that you can store easily somewhere and. And really tight at the same time it's it would be extremely handy around the house in fact if the wife sees this I probably am not gonna be able to give this away because she's gonna take it from me but what an awesome kit between there's like three different purposes you've got right there with that uh, needle nose pliers you've got you know an adjustable wrench I don't have any problem with it because I do use them to this day for you know projects sometimes it's just simple to grab an adjustable if it's a basic thing that you're dealing with and you don't need a socket or something so that is a terrific wrench very nice interesting tape measure really interesting on that one and this is this hammer in some ways is better than anything I've got because it'll hold the nail to start it where you know I don't have anything else that'll do that plus you've got all these pieces here for the drivers for this for the screwdriver so you have all your basics and you have an extension piece which allows you to kind of get into things so if you're doing a little bit of computer work even you could probably use these basic pieces to you know take the computer apart change the drive or something like that if you're operating on a computer something around that or if you're working around a small machine that's inside the house or something again you've got your basic tools so so there, there's the tool kit, but uh, I missed on something here, so I'm going to show it to you real quick because there's a couple other little things with this kit that will surprise you for features. The hammer also has, uh, there's a little rubber cap in, in the tool kit that you can put over the end of the hammer, and that creates a rubber sort of finish for a hammer. So if you're banging something you don't want to leave like a hammer mark or you want to protect whatever it is you're hitting, you can use this rubber cap on there, and it's inside the tool kit as well. Uh, boy. 
Like I said, this is an innovative company and their tools always have a little bit more thought in them than other tool companies and there's some pretty cool stuff in here. So this is the drill, uh, uh, excuse me, this is the screwdriver kit. They also have a kit like this that is a drill kit, sort of like the one we gave away uh, a few months ago. And again, that drill was really impressive. It, it had features on it that nobody else seems to have. So it was like, whoa, you know, it was worth showing. And this again, doesn't surprise me because Hoto seems to go out of their way and say, let's, let's design some tools that are a little more functional in some way or offer more features than your basic tool kind of thing. So, wow, yeah, you know, super. So we're gonna provide a link in the description below where you can go look at this thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they don't make, their tools are good quality. So the price is gonna reflect that, just a warning. You know, these are not gonna be Harbor Freight quality tools. These are, these are good, you know, good quality stuff. I always pick on Harbor Freight, but I still shop there every once in a while. So. But we've got something coming up from Harbor Freight that really surprised me. They had something that, uh, how can I say it? Uh, they just, it surprised me and I've got it here. And at some point we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna set it all up and put it together. It's big, it's heavy and it's big and it's large. But I had no idea Harbor Freight had such a tool. So that is gonna be an interesting show. Weeks from now though, I think right now. So let's get to the next uh, item. The draw. Okay, and now it's time for the big kahuna. Bucket grips. In fact, they sent me a nice t-shirt, but I never showed you guys the back of it, huh? 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 Is that cool or what? You know, anyway, this is what we're giving away, the bucket grips, and we've got three of them, so we're gonna do three draws. Wow, yeah, cool. Let's do bucket. Oh, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> bucket. Okay, so we're, we're almost ready. Now, I worked hard this morning to get all the tickets together. Uh, once again, not too bad. It was, uh, you know, quite a few entries. Now we're going to stir up the, we're going to stir up the tickets. Not a lot this time. Uh, I don't know whether there's any problems with the email box or not. Uh, I am going to uh, change the email this time around. So we're going to do a little different uh, as far as the draw goes. We're making some changes that hopefully will pick things up a little bit better or make things easier too for the viewers. Uh, so let's get to this. Um, then we'll get to the next product. So, I got some tickets here. Let's pull the first ticket out. Is going to. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Kenneth. I won't give the rest of it away, but. Ke oh, wow. In Cleveland, Texas. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I didn't know there was such a place, but okay. So, Kenneth, you got a bucket grip coming. I hope you like it. And another ticket comes up. All right, what do we got here? This is going to be, ah, I've seen this guy before here. And he's in, let's see. Okay, we'll just call you KW. We won't give the rest of your name away. Cause like I said, I try to keep it anonymous for you guys. Orange City, Florida. So KW in Orange City, Florida, you are getting bucket grips. Okay. And the third winner. Okay, let's let's grab one here. What do we got? Big fatty one here. And this one here will be uh, Mike in West Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mike, congratulations, all three of you. You're getting bucket grips. <laughs> and those will go out. Uh, what's today? Thursday. Those will. I'll try to get those out to you on Friday uh, in the mail. And hopefully they won't cost me a four. Yeah, they won't cost me too much. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so that's our three big winners today. Now we got to do something else, and we all know what we got to do. So I'm going to uh, we're going to do this one, but like I said, I'll, you got to be a subscriber, or you shouldn't be entering around. <laughs> and if I find out you're not a subscriber, we're going to throw your ticket out. So. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, uh, actually more than a month ago, I believe, we did Gulu, the battery charger or portable battery that will start a car, tractor, truck, airplanes, whatever. And it's a really powerful, it's about $150. It's brand new, it's still in the case. We have the box here for it. Yep, right here. And that's what we're drawing on. So, how are we gonna do this? Well, you email it to 
and it's going to be, I'm going to uh, put it on the side over here, I guess, and it's just CT rewards at gmx.com uh, we're going to try that email it's just it's just easier for everybody to hopefully get it right and i'll put it on the screen so you can see what it is in the subject of your email you just write you just write gulu g-o-o-l-o-o -O -O, gulu and in the body of the letter just like you're doing a return address for a postal uh, just your name and your address and we'll make up tickets next Thursday we'll draw a ticket and see who's getting the Gulu that we reviewed over a month ago I guess now but uh, it's an awesome car jumping battery starter Wow you know it, it works great especially around uh, especially the lawn tractors it seemed to always the battery always seems to be like half dead or something and this will just get you out, out of the problem immediately just put it on boom start it problem solved really quick and uh, this is from the uh, great people at Gulu. I want to thank Gulu again for sending this in. This was a, an awesome, uh, just an awesome product. Uh, I think they retail around $150 or so, so it's an expensive item, but it's a really nice one. Nice jumper cables and everything with it. And it has some great features. And it's also very, it's just, it's just a very strong charger. So that's what we're doing. And you must be a subscriber, as I mentioned that. And I guess we'll just say, hey, uh, it's been a long one today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we ran a little overtime, I guess, or whatever today with this, but it was it's, a lot was planned into the, into Thursday's show today. And I want to thank everybody for watching, everybody for saying like, share, uh, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for you know putting your name in. I'm expecting I expect to see lots of names in for this. And uh, until next time, over and out.